plug you with my cabin, boy. Hey, whoa, hey. Cool it. All right. You got your drow here. Um, he's kind of like, you know, open mouthed, almost laughing at you with um, blood trickling between his teeth. At this point, uh, amused by the story you're trying to tell him. Bear would glance at the... Uh, actually, he'd only glance at Indira. Because glancing at the others is not particularly effective. Let me see that. She would the reach out for the book. He'd proffer the journal. What do you want to see? This one bested you in combat. Barely. Why Bear didn't he mind. finish you? It is a creature of the above. They live such uh, advantageous lives. They do not need to kill their prey. Hmm. The dragon will get him. If he seeks to go down into the dark. Is that not why you're meant to kill him? I'm meant to kill him because he is the last of his kind. His death will ring through their people and bring their end. How did you get past the dragon, anyhow? Give me a persuasion to roll. Tricks. Skill. <laughs> Indira scoffs and, like, looks him up and down. I have many skills, my lady. If you let me have these manacles, I may show you one or two. She scoffs again. It's fine, that's fine. I've woken up in manacles more than once in my life. You're lucky we nursed you. I am appreciative. No. He is not lucky. Vale stands up, draws a dagger, and approaches him. He is going to try and pull out of the manacles, but doesn't get a really good roll this time, so he doesn't break them open. Uh, the illusion drops, and Vale stands in front of him. He... Should have done better. Just and then starts... as, he's, as he starts to say something, he just drives the dagger He just the starts eye. laughing, so he does get a couple of like licks of laughter through before you, you know, finish him off. Manacled at one HP, you coup the grime to death. Um, Indira would like just be looking at the journal and then flip it to hold it open to veil and grab his wrist and be like, Are you okay? This is serious. Yes, that's why I killed him. It is disturbing that they have an image of me down there. But this has been fortuitous. If we not only find our way to this, to this teleportation circle, if we kill every one of these drow warlords, <laughs> if a sun elf kills them, they will give up on the surface. They will know that this surface is not theirs. It will end a war before it even begins. This idea of sending the Sun Elves into Narashimo, it is brave, it is bold. It is a way for my people to have a glorious end. But a better end is to say that we are the ones who make the drow fear the surface. We make them stay cowering in their caverns in the depths. So I say, we make our way to this teleportation circle, but on the way we kill every one of these warlords. We poison, we assassinate, we bribe, we sow sedition, anything, as long as it results in their deaths. 
Indira smiles at you and places her finger on the portrait of the war strider and she says, dibs on this one. If you say so. There, so the journal's in a language they can't read? Uh, it's it's in Elvish, it's just the way they wrote Elvish. Veil vale, flicking through it couldn't figure out. You sit down, you take your rests to read it, you, you'll, you'll get stuff from it. Okay. Uh, at that point, Vale would untie you guys. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. While was... I am not averse to the idea of striking a blow at these fools, I would not say that assassination is particularly in our skill set, at least not in a domain that is already hostile to us. Perhaps depends on how you go about it. You saw that sorry excuse for an assassin. One flash of, well, Indira bats her eyelids and that's it. He's willing to talk. Maybe not as much as we had hoped, but more than with me. We each have skills that will prove useful. And he was not one of the, by what he was, wait, they were talking in Elvish, weren't they? Yep. Crap, then I didn't understand any of it. I'm not saying anything more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. But you look really mad. <laughs> what was said? I mean, I know it's a drow, but he seems to get to you. Oh. I would, at this point, toss the journal to Gil. Have a look at some of the pictures. Flick through. Yeah, what he's clearly referring to would be, you know, the, the sketch of him. Catch me the good light, no. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 Vail, the yeah. sketch of Vale, of, of like what Vale could look like, you know. It's not, it's clearly meant to be him, but it's not um, completely accurate. Uh I see why you're mad. They got your eyebrows wrong. <laughs> and I'll throw the journal back at Indira. Yeah, we just kill them all. Isn't that why we're here? More or less. If we kill the warlords and throw them into disarray, there will be infighting, there will be power vacuums, power struggles for a long time to come, I am sure. Uh, if we then bring the Sun Elves in, it will be an easy matter to subjugate what is left of the faction that wishes to rise up. I'm sure many of them are happy to stay down below. It is, as he said, a hard life, but it is a life. What say you? This is This is all your call. No. This we is, will kill them all. This is more than yeah. we signed on for. This is <laughs> little cute. <laughs> that was really cute. It was adorable. <laughs> this is more than we signed on for. This is I signed on to help you. And if you want to do it then I'm doing it. This could take years. Okay. I'm gonna have to send some money to my ship, but <laughs> I'm in this too. I think I, paid, I think I paid for two. <laughs> two years? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think so too. You got a while. <laughs> Serena? How long has it been? No, it's been have... like two months maybe. I know we have not always seen eye to eye, but, uh, you know, I, I, I think it is fair to say, uh, for the land going, in fact, I am seafaring. In fact, for the seafaring and land going among us, not many of us have heard of the chosen daughter of the, em uh, Empress. Uh, what better way to spread your name? Her name is plenty spread, but this certainly wouldn't hurt. I mean, sure, spread, like, where? The bottom of the sea? 
Strahan and to a lesser extent the see the ports along the coast but uh, Indira is going with you I go with Indira it is as simple as that but this is you speak of this easily and while I am not I am far from averse to cutting the head off the sea serpent this is a colossal and difficult undertaking. This is not a decision to be made lightly. There is a reason that Perenthor came to me. Sun elves do not assassinate. They do not hide in the shadows. They wage war and crusades. I am of a newer generation. I am willing to step out of the light of the sun to do what is necessary. I believe that is why we were chosen. You were chosen. Berenthor specified I needed your help. All of you. That said, I would not force this endeavor upon you. There is a choice for you here. There isn't, though. I have already said, Indira goes, I go. And you are right, maybe it will make my name well known. Perhaps my name will be useful to you. They sp this drow spoke of, you say he spoke of factions of rebels. Perhaps Ronin, some. Ronin, he called them. Ronin. Perhaps there are those among the drow who worship my mother, who would welcome me. Perhaps they are working against these warlords. Perhaps there are factions we could use to our advantage. That sounds more like it. Now, I agree. It is a colossal undertaking. Do we wish to test ourselves? Are we capable of this? Can we kill a dragon? <laughs> well, taking down the dragon would certainly t send a statement to the drow. Indeed. I have no fear of an overgrown lizard. I would welcome the challenge. Indeed. As long as you don't go crawling up its butt, I think we'll be okay. Look, it was merely a trick of the light. Perspective. You could not see what was really going on from your angle. Mm, I can still smell it, though. Gilwyn, want to become a dragon slayer? Yeah, I think I do. And besides, if we all die... Death's still permanent, but it's permanent in a better way, as of yesterday. And I'll put my hand on his shoulder. Thank you, friends. He'd make eye contact with each one of me. Of course. I'll nod and go, hmm. Hmm. We can all animes. <laughs> <laughs> There's minimal reaction from Serena, just maybe a slight tilt of the head. And then I would look at Serena and I would just mouth, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Serena, Serena just rolls her eyes at, at Tindera, but with a slight wry smile on her face. <laughs> yes, I mean, following Indira's decision making, she's crazy. That is why she needs me. Uh, perhaps so, we should have a good night's rest. Yeah. Let's see this thing in action. But what weapons is this now dead? Yeah, this guy, loot so looting him, um, uh, the thing that becomes apparent 
is that this guy's build and even combat style and even facial structure is similar to Vale's. Um, he was fighting with a, a long sword and a short sword. Um, he has on him um, three vials of drow poison. Um, which is different to your regular poison. Just don't mind that. Like that um, his armor um, is uh, not enchanted, but would uh, count as uh, studded leathers. Um, he doesn't have anything in the way of uh, magic. It's really, you know, the, the, the core parts of his stuff is the uh, uh, journal, the map, the uh, leadership. Um, you do notice when you're looting him, he has a very particular brand um, on his uh, right hand um, that is uh, of a um, elven symbol. Is, you know, it's a clearly elven in design, but the, the concept is a little hard to decipher. But you assume it's something to do with him being some sort of traitor. Um, could I, I? I understand it would be a hard DC, but could I? Attempt to religion role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be more just to like decipher. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I can understand mm -hmm, the meaning mm -hmm. of it, I, I'd have a decent shot. Um, I mean, 19 is really good. Um, to you, it seems like it would be not simply traitorship, but to um, abandon one's oaths um, to be what he called Ronin. Um, uh, flicking through his his uh, journal a little bit more from like his early life, it seems his family is a family of honor bound warriors, which he abandoned, um, and this is probably a mark that you know as you flick through a little bit more, uh, he tried to avoid getting for a long time by being on the run, but uh, you know it's not you're not threatened by death. It's just everyone needs to know you abandoned your under dark veil. <laughs> Pretty much. While um while we're, they're examining the body, Serena would nudge Indira and say, "A pity he stood against us. He's quite the specimen, isn't he?" Beautiful, even. Yes. <laughs> then she looks at then she looks pointedly up and down at Vale as well, like comparing the two. <laughs> and that's not necessarily in a bad way. <laughs> Subtle. Well, Serena is anything but subtle. Serena, the obvious <laughs> thing, you know, if you haven't laid down what I'm putting down, even with your cloak of illusions, like, he could become this guy. Yeah, so exactly. effortlessly. Oh, shit, what was his name? It's in the journal. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. What, what was oh, it? All right, I'll, I'll give you a typey like, too. It was something like Jail, wasn't it? It was very similar to that, you Jing. Jing. Jing oh, a bit different. Jing Ashari. It would be funny if you go find this guy who's like, My name's Bale Bear. <laughs> My name is Nail. It's that. It's, it's, it's <laughs> not like, Bale. I was, I was like, oh, shit. What do I? What do I say if he asks for my name? Uh, I. Beldrin. It was the uh, no. <laughs> next thing he was gonna ask if he got a moment, and he never got the moment. I'll memorize. And what you that could do is you could well, you could memorize the symbol. You can uh, learn who he was from the journal. Um, <sighs> Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna. I need to study that. Ooh. All right. Um, what? So let's say you're, you know, you're taking your rest and probably going to head off uh, in the morning. If you're studying that journal, veil, vale, what part would you want to, to, you know, read on first? It, you know, there's the, you know, the early life. There's uh, time as a Ronin, then sort of time rehired very, very recently. Uh, or just read... about the Underdark in general. I'm going to read present to past. But I would also have a brief flick through to see if there's any mentions of this dragon. Um, in uh, the present, um, he actually does mention the dragon. It's the, it's one of the last things he mentions. Um, he mentions going past a foul, stinking giant um, guarding a gate. He thinks it's an inelegant solution. 
Um, uh, and he mentions that he got past the dragon um, due to mind lost being fed to it as a sort of sacrifice. You don't know what these mind lost are. Um, but he mentions... His, his words are of disgust and whatever these things are being fed in droves to the dragon um, following a, a large group of them actually um, he mentions that the, the dragon Ozk is not allied really to the dragon to, to the drow it's questionable whether he, he like in the days before he's like I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get through I might have to you know uh, pull some uh, tricks. Um, but it seems that the feeding them this mind lost at least sated it for a time. Which goes with what you know of it being some sort of glutton. Alright. You wake up in the morning. Um, it's raining. Uh, your little shelter actually gives you quite, quite you know, the ground still gets wet, but you're, you know, you have bed rolls and things. Um, Wait, we didn't use the thing? Mmm, of course you use the thing. You wake up and it's perfectly fine, and then you poke your head out and it's raining. Um, What's the thing look like? I'm so excited To describe the thing, thing I, well, I totally you. forgot you were going to do that because you never said you were using it, but you totally would have here. Oh, I said, key? let's see this thing in action. It's the key. Yeah, that? but you said it like... We got distracted with an assassin. Yeah. To be fair. Boo. Um, but Do you the, put uh, the key in the ground and then turn it, and it. No, no, you don't do that. You do a similar action in the air, not in the ground. Oh, that's cool. Um, and it does create this sort of blue bubble. Like, and it does look like that. It looks like an opaque bubble with a kind of glossy uh, surface. You can step through it. It has it has some give to it. You step through, and it's a, um, it's just a sort of nondescript pleasant space. It's not, you know, it, it's like the inside of a blue painted room. You know, the ground is a kind of blue, the, the walls are a kind of blue. It's a perfect sort of neutral temperature. It's, there's no smell, there's no anything, and it's just, there's a little bit of light. Um... It's very nondescript in there, but it, you know, it's safe. There's room for you all to sleep. Um, and uh, what, it, it actually, you know, once your eight hours of rest are up, it just pops. It's just gone. Um, I imagine Indira, who's often late to wake, would be like, oh, this is lovely, and then you're in a dirt hole. Um, it's just like mud kicked to my face. Yeah, like, exactly. Rolling on the ground. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well. So it's 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 a thing. It's a cool little thing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no, I totally meant to. It's just you haven't had a a chance. I was very excited about the thing. I was excited about it. All right. Are you gonna press forward? Let's go, fuck a dragon. <laughs> and I mean in the good way, not the bad way. God, yeah, you're trying to get way. into all of the holes. The bad dragon today. Way. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I'm gonna need you all to give me uh, acrobatics or athletics checks to climb down. You know where this place is, but it's a treacherous, uh, tight little crevasse of wet stones and sharp rocks. Don't worry, watch me roll a twenty and save you, Gilwin. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> I'm be bothered, a 20. or can I? Should I just? <laughs> I'm just gonna use fly. I I'm a mermaid. Getting down there is not gonna be easy. <laughs> you just give up. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna use fly, and when I get to the bottom, I'm just gonna use the pearl of power to um, get yeah. my spell slot back. Li literally, it, you know, the system works. Um, Gilwin, you are gonna take some damage. Um, uh... Going to fight a dragon uses pearl of power. <laughs> For some reason, you you let Gilwin no, no, go no, down I, first. I it um, takes it takes an action to use yeah, a pearl of power. I'm not going to do I that in combat. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Uh, you actually take 20 bludgeoning damage from the fall. It's hard. Like, similar to Vale, you fall very awkwardly on these sharp rocks. 
Um, it cuts you up, it's gonna bruise, it's gonna knock things out of place. Um, oh. not enough to... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Winded, and that's when, you know, Dira and Vale effortlessly climb down, and <laughs> Serena, Serena flies in. Down. <laughs> From here on out, you should really let one of us assist you. Yeah. You okay? No. <laughs> I'm gonna open up. You look a little worse for wear. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. You keep you start walking um, without needing any sort of magical light because Gilwyn, this is really the first chance to really use your magical goggles properly in a cave. <laughs> Uh, you get to see as the others do in... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's not as exciting as you kind of expected it was. When they say, oh, I can see in the dark, you can kind of see an, almost a, you know, an aura around you of greys. It's enough that you can very confidently, you know, figure out where to place your feet and mm. not walk into stalagmites and things. Um, but it, it becomes clear when looking at the others, like, all the colour is drained from them. Um... The detail, fine details are just impossible to work out. But hey, you know, it means you can travel quite stealthily uh, through the dark as this cavern travels down. This is a wet, watery cave. The water from the, the waterfall trickles down and creates almost on either side of this channel two little waterways that trickle and roll down, have their own mini waterfalls and places. They kind of arc off and in and out. And um, this cave probably was carved out over high huge amounts of time by the water at least assisted by it um and trains and trains yeah um the underdark train <laughs> not yet um, you travel uh for quite some time always moving downwards um flicking through the journal his journey seems to have taken quite a bit of time. Um, it describes that, uh, you know, the... They don't have months. They don't have a moon. Um, so something you would have picked up very quickly looking through his journal is that they tail time via the four seasons. The cold season, the dry season, the warm season, and the wet season. And um, it is currently uh, the dry season. Um, halfway through. Um, of course, you're in this wet, watery cavern, so you've got no evidence of that. Um, but uh, you have no idea how long it's super going to take. It does it, 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 it does have days. It seems that there's uh, 90 days in a season. And, uh, you know, it definitely doesn't line up to your months. Uh, so you can't really figure out how long it's going to take. But, you know, prepare for a lot of walking. Prepare for a trek. Um... As you're traveling, there's some areas where these uh, waterways get larger, and some areas actually where I think me and Neil discussed at some point, but it's like, you know, there's blind little fish swimming around in the dark, and even like, uh, you know, crabs and things. There's life in these areas. It's not everywhere, it's kind of where the water pools in places. It blooms to some degree. Um, there's even areas where the caverns kind of stretches off more, but you're like, you know, we're going to stay to this path. And it's not all stairs. It's mostly... It's clear that there have been a lot of people walking up and down here because of the wearing. The wearing on the stone is fit to footsteps. But other than that, it is just nature allowed to uh, live. Um, it's why you're walking through one of those areas where the rock kind of travels over the waterways and the water trickles around and under um, where you hear a horrifying shriek and you are attacked by creatures. Now, can you give me your walking order for traveling down um, through the Underdark? Feel as though I would be first. I think Serena would be near the front as well because of imp imp superior dark vision. Mm. So Indira, Serena, Vale, Gilwin? Or Gilwin, Vale? Safest place in the middle. Back. It, it the interchanges, back. depends who's chanting to who. 
Vale, you've had a long rest, by the way. Oh, do I? I wouldn't. Um, yeah, of course, it's it's casual. It's just uh, I wanted to um, fly casual. Yeah, I wanted to uh, fly casual, then use a pearl of power. <laughs> That's what you did. Yeah. Can you give me an initiative roll as creatures jump at you from the water? Oh no. He looks I real mad. That token. I can't remember what it was, but I recognize that token. Yeah, it it, it triggers some sort of primordial. <laughs> yeah. I it, it it it's the old um you know in a game where you get so far that a boss monster shows up as a regular monster. It used to be a boss monster token. Yeah. Um. Funnily enough, uh, these guys are in the background layer. That ain't right. Um. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> hey. Okay, initiativo. Hey, not well, good. I'm back to my normal initiative. Yeah, not amazing, <laughs> guys. Vale, as you're walking through this area, um, you see things skimming through the water. The water is murky most of the time, but what you see is this barb, almost like a shark's fin, just dragging across the water, causing this ripple and this screeching noise under the water. You don't even see them. You can see the shape, the rough shape, but uh, no more detail than that. But uh, there's no way something like that is friendly. We here we go. Uh, vale is going to draw the um, rapier and the parrying dagger as, as he often does. Don't know if you've noticed that. Oh, really? Uh, run forward. To be fair, Vale has quite a lot of weapons. He does. He's covered in them. I miss my spike chain. You can get another spike chain. On my gun. Yeah, I know. Um, and he... I mean, I can see this barb, you called it. You can... Like, as you run closer, you can see the shape under the water. It's... Uh, it's like a... Bulbous shape at the end of this barbed tail. So all you can see with chop, your dark vision. Is I'm going to try and chop the tail then, because I mean, if that's dokes. the bit that's most, it's sticking out the most, it's clearly dangerous. Mm -hmm. Give it a slice. Did it? I don't know. Why? Why did I roll with advantage? I'm you so don't sorry. Have advantage. Yeah. That's where I missed now. Nah, you still hit. <sighs> I don't know why I did that. That was so infuriating. Brains. This is where the brains live. Get you wall. You managed to sort of like go like <laughs> down into the thing, and uh, you know you you fought enough monsters to know when something's circling you to fight you, and you clearly caught it by uh, you know you, you acted before it had any chance to you know get in the right sort of position. You see it sort of wish whip around in the water and thrash. To some degree, you smell blood in the air. Um, and then I'm gonna back up. I made a. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, all good. In Dira, the sperm. Your turn. That's me. I'm yep. that guy. I'm gonna come with this guy. I'm so good at nicknames. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Try real hard to hit him without initiative. I believe in you. That is a miss. My you like go and misplaced. swing at the shape and it kind of ducks deep under the water and your axe clacks against the rocks in the in the pool. Mm. As I ran over, I raged, by the way. Just so you know. Um... I'm gonna try again. Yeah, that's a hit. Nice. You kind of see it skimming through the water and move and, and kind of, uh, you know, anticipate it. It's a big hit against such a, you know, it's, it's a big creature. You can get a good broadside attack. And um, then they start to act. The one that you attacked, Vale, you see it kind of circle in the water and then leap out. What this creature is, is kind of a... a winged shape um 
vaguely frog-like in kind of the design of the, you know, the shape of the mouth and the eyes and things, but it has wings instead of sort of any leg legs or fins or anything, and this long tail ends with a big stinger. Um, and it leaps out of the water with this echoing shriek that kind of makes the cavern um, uh, shake slightly. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Indira is actually out of range, so can you three give me constitution saves, please? Constitution? Sure you mm -hmm. don't want to make a dex? Nah. What if I was to for you a bounty? I would Drop love a Twitch that. bounty, unfortunately I can't get them yet. Da, 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 da. All of uh, you kind of... is a monster. <laughs> yeah, it's screaming at you. You're used to it. Um, it kind of like leaps up and goes to bite uh, at uh, Vale, you, you attacked it, and it's going to... Where's my dice? Here's a blue one that makes sense, it's a water monster. Miss! You duck and dodge out of the way. On the way sort of past you, it's going to, uh... Because it's kind of over you. It, I'm going to drop my dice, but it's going to land really well, and it's going to do a stinger attack against Gilwyn. Gilwyn, can you give me a constitution save? I can, and I will. The stinger itself deals uh, eight piercing damage. Then you feel as the stinger sort of jabs into you and then um, uh, the creature kind of takes purchase above you in the air. The poison flow through your veins with every pump of your heart and you are poisoned. Oh no. Quick, uh, where's the paladin? Lay on hands. Indira, this creature is going to shriek at you. Can you give me a constitution save? Ollie, should I be able to see? I don't think I have dark vision. I haven't given you dark vision. <laughs> I didn't know if no. it was like super dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just need to um, change that to be Thank your you. token normally. Um, you are frightened by the creature as it launches out of the water this large bulbous Shrieker. mouth. Yeah. And it will... Um... Uh, isn't there... Can't that not happen to me? Mindless Rage is a Berserker subclass ability for Barbarian, which is the not frightened bit. Fair. It's gonna bite you. I uh, respect the hustle though, kid. Can't it manages to, to uh, <laughs> it, you manage to like duck and weave out of the way, trying to back up in absolute terror of this big flying water mouth. Um, it does manage to get a sting off against you. Can you give me a constitution save? The sting deals uh, do, 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 four piercing damage and you resist the poison. Um, Gilwyn, as you, you know, prepare to fight back, the poison coursing through your veins deals ten poison damage to you. Sapping oh, at your strength. The motherfucker's gonna die before we even get to the dragon, Jesus. It's almost like trying to get through a realm of underdark caverns is, is heard. Um, he's okay. smart. Is this water like a super big drop? No, it's it's like inches. Okay. I kind of want to. That's a bit merry. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. Swing around to the side at least. Mm hmm. Um, and stab it with my rapier. It's a hit, which is rare for Gilwin. <laughs> they should all be celebrated. That damage isn't rare for Gilwin. It's only a glancing strike, but hey, every little helps. Uh, and bonus action healing way at a second level on myself. I'll just yell, ow. <laughs> Serena. I'm going to slip it, be very clever and slip into the water with the water drilling creature nearby because that is very clever. Um, 
and I'm just going to lob a Shadow Bolt at the one that um, Vale and Gil are attacking. Is it? Yay, Ooh. damage! Oh, damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a big hit. Like, this thing is flying in the air. It's kind of swooping in a circle. You can hit it, and it kind of knocks it out of the air for a second before it manages to catch itself. Um, Vale. Um, it gets hit by the Shadow Bolt. Um, Vale's going to duck and move under, uh, under and out of its line of sight and then come up with a thrust. Mm-hmm. Would you look at that? Oh! That noise. <laughs> I'm if only sorry, I'd heard I, a woman I'm make hard. a noise like that. <laughs> Surprisingly, that, you Jesus. don't instantly kill the thing as you... Uh, I mean, it's your crit. How do you describe this brutal attack? Um, so as I said, it gets hit by the Shadow Bolt and like turns away from the horrible energy. As it does that, Vale ducks, moves round, out the line of sight, and then comes up with a driving, because um, he can sheath the dagger very quickly, drives the rapier all the way in, and then out. Yeah, like he goes through the thing. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's looking very injured. Indira, uh... I have a bonus action. Do you need one, really? I was going <laughs> to hit it with a d4 of damage. How are you? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> you asked for I, it now. He's coming at 20. Oh. To miss. <laughs> Balance in you all miss. things. You see, I jinxed it. I anti-jinxed Doxy's roll earlier. This time I jinxed Neil's roll instead. Indira, uh, you're scared of this thing. Uh, practically in this contest, all that really gives you is disadvantage to attack it. Um, Doesn't matter because that one attacked Gilwin and didn't die. So I have to go kill it oh no fuck rip serena uh i can make it to here before i have to misty step to get here uh luckily the leaper misses its attack like kind of biting after you in the dark as you know you gotta imagine you know because everything's moving at once it's like flying after you just biting its jaws um with this horrible wet snapping noise as you get up you know, I just rolled what would have been a double crit because it was a 19 and 20. Okay. Oh, actually, by the way, I would definitely Misty Step to here. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, and now I got that advantage. It's a hit. I'd love to roll damage for this, but. And with go. that, you know, it's already staggered from Veil, stabbing right through it. You can cleave the thing in two. That's so kills. annoying. <laughs> that's, the, that's the end of my turn. Leaving. <laughs> the Leaper. It kind of, like, drops down into the water and then bites uh, through the air. It's hey, going to bite at Serena. Uh, Serena, what's your AC? What's your AC, Serena? I said 12. It's hits. Sorry, I didn't hear it. Um, we'll lose so what's basking in the glory. Oh! <laughs> getting to the squishy. <laughs> um... What's great, too, is that this has got, like, a grapple thing to it, like a, a lot of bite attacks. So it's, like, flying, and it bites you, and then just lifts you out of the water with it. Um, so it's a shark fight, uh, killer seal. Very similar. It's going to deal 12 piercing damage. You are grappled, and it is going to uh, kind of, you know, have you in its mouth as it moves forward and stings at Vale. But... It doesn't, because Vale is very dexterous and Matrix dodges out of the way. Gil win. Go again. My hatred of um, Indira gives me power. 
Hatred. It's a love hate thing. <laughs> um, and once again, I will rape your it. That's a hit. Do it max damage. Mm. Nearly. No, you know, that's higher than Gilwin average that's time. A solid decade of damage right there, my friend. I killed the man. That's, <laughs> that's two rock wells of damage. <laughs> uh, Sorry, that'll do. In the mouth I... of this creature. I'm spot. going to take a um, leaf out of Indira's book and Misty Step back down into the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like squishing you in its mouth with its uh, teeth, and then you hear a horrible tooth-on-tooth -tooth noise oh, yeah. as it like a bites clap. down. Why do you guys keep making that noise happen in my brain today? <laughs> You're welcome. Um, and then just out of anger, even though this thing has probably got insane decks and this is going to fail, I'm going to send Lobber Twisting Fellstorm in its oh. direction. Pieces. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It passes. Of course it passed. I've not hit with Tristing Fellstorm yet. <laughs> Ever. You have, you have once. Have I? You have I might have done like the very once. first time I used I it against some it random I think it was mook. the first time against like <laughs> common folk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Vale. Nice hit, Gilwin. <sighs> One. Uh, that's right. I should have made you deal uh, take damage. Oh yeah. Now. Well, it's too late now. You got Jeez. lucky, punk. It's no, too no, no, late. No. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. You, if you insist. Uh, five yeah. poison damage. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of damage. I'll it's take some my flex lock. tape. <laughs> uh, haha. Uh, the leaper is still alive. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want some more, huh? <laughs> to hit. It's it's old faithful, new faithful. Sorry. Yeah, let's change the name. You have become Indira. I'm good at names. I'm gonna come around to this side, and I'm gonna. It. Poke it in. It's fucking ass. That's a hit. We don't really have asses, they just have tails. But it's anus on it takes it. Poison. Yeah, it's poisons actually. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Is the it system works. Dead? Nope. It takes the hit. <laughs> Is it dead? <laughs> Is it? That's now? the killing blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. How do you want to kill it? Um, the first, the first swing of her axe just like comes down on the back of its neck, and its head is kind of like, its neck is very, very broken and like s sort of half cleft. And then the second one, she just like pulls it back out and then finishes the job. And you scrap against the bone, and it goes. I fucking hate you being cut <laughs> forth. <laughs> Classic. Dean Melissa cuts forth. I swear to God, if you make me think of that noise again. Melissa. <laughs> yeah, that's your middle name. DMC. <laughs> okay. Dean may cry. <laughs> that's the train of it. Well, if he makes me think of that noise again. Well, Gilwin <laughs> should cry because he's still taking damage from the poison. Oh, shit. At the end of that fight, he's going to take an additional God, 11. An you got an antitoxin. Drink it hard. 12 health. I'm going to just chug this antitoxin. Um, I will also give you one of my healing potions if you don't have any. I've got one. Okay. The antitoxin neutralizes the poison in your body, letting you uh, live. In general, generalized terms, life. The gift I give to you. Oh, everything hurts. Mm. How are you, Serena? It did not get a proper grip on me before I managed to escape. 
looks at bloody teeth holes. <laughs> it's as as ever with Serena. It's almost less blood and more like shadow leaking. So it's quite difficult to tell, considering she's normally leaking shadow. <laughs> and also, she's, we're she's, in the dark. She's a leaky that girl. Thing. She just she just leaks. <laughs> yeah. At any rate, while those creatures were unpleasant, they were not. I imagine they are by far, far from the worst things we will encounter down here. I wouldn't be surprised if old Jaying had run into them, however. That could be where he got the bites from. He mentioned giants. It scares me a little. Yes, it scares me as well. All it would take is two giants, one to hit Gilwin and the other to hit Serena, and Serena would die because you would run away from her and leave her open to attack again. She is not capable of fighting in close combat. You must be more aware of where she is. You may you as well be more aware of when you fart in your sleep. You must be more aware of things that are going on on the other side of the world. Okay, you are saying you have no control. Then you must learn control if you do not want your friends to die. Of course I don't want my friends to die. But if you then think of it... learn it. Oh, can we rest, please? Where would sheath his sword after that? Oh, the fantasy equivalent of a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we will have to find somewhere to rest then. I would say the best plan would be to continue on down this tunnel until we were to find a smaller like tunnels that are starting to shrink and shrink and shrink and we could find one that is yeah, an offshoot there's, tunnel. There's sometimes little side tunnels. Give me a survival yeah. roll for that. <sighs> Ultimately, this is not the kind of terrain <laughs> you're used to. Um, you do find an area like that. Unfortunately, it's you know it's it's very waterlogged, and you're not sure. Maybe another one of those creatures could be down in that area. Um, mm -hmm. really, you're going to have to just rely on the magic of the dome most of the time to keep you safe. Because there isn't really that, you know, a reliable, safe side path to run off to. Has it been long enough for us to take a long rest, or is this, like, re reasonably? Have you we been down a long here rest a day? If you want. Yeah, yeah. You, you, there's been a long travel up till now. Take a short, uh, long rest. I guess we won't risk it. We'll take a long one then. They would be on watch the entire time. Or, I'll, you know. I'll also not risk it, and I will take a break so that we can go to the bathroom. Yeah, I got it. Let's be back in a sec. Oh, oh, uh, oh, ah, uh, ah! Uh.